Bro, I want to clue bombs for Deacon Glorilla just because. We was in here taking shots because it's Halloween. No, you bro. was in here taking shots. <laughs> Please, that's you and Y'all your are alcoholics. No that's fun. you in here taking shots. Y'all are no fun, man. No, we just not alcoholics. Yeah, you were taking shots. Morning, everybody. We are the Breakfast so Club. Judgy. Happy Halloween to everybody out there. Make sure you have fun with your kids today, too. Dress yes. up. Take them trick-or-treating. Make sure you keep an eye on all the candy. If, if your area is not as safe and you don't want to be out in the streets, go to the mall. The malls always have, uh, you know, the stores usually give out candy. So just take your kids. Have a have fun with your kids today, all right? All righty, y'all. So, Dre and Michelle is denying and fighting back against being the uh, Laura Govan saying that she dragged Dre by her vagina and her collarbone. Jesus, excuse me. So, listen, I'm gonna hey, break it down for how y'all. How you do that? I don't know. Listen, so Laura Govan was uh sitting down with Carlos King. You guys know he has this show that he does where he does the one on one exclusive interviews. Shout yep. out to Carlos King, Salute to Carlos. yes. Um, so in this interview, Laura started talking about when she found out that Drea was involved with Gilbert Arenas. Let's take a listen. Drea was brought on Basketball Wives as a friend, if I'm not mistaken, to my sister. And guess what? I liked her because I was like, oh, shit. I like this chick. Like, she's hella cool. She's funny. I had no idea that she was there being Gilbert's jump off. So then when I found out, it was when I was going through some papers at the house and I saw that he had given her $25,000 and brought her to LA. And I remember going to where she was filming here in Hollywood down the street. I remember showing up and I was not supposed to be filming and I walked past everybody and I beat to her and it did not air. I picked her by her her collarbone and threw her and then I spit on her. Jesus. This is why you got to love black people. Now, she know damn well she didn't pick that girl up by her poom poom. But that's okay, how you like, tell the story. You gotta, know, but, but black people, we put story, so though. much sauce on everything. <laughs> that's an amazing okay, story, though. Picking a woman up by the poom poom and slamming her is a fatality move. You would see in Mortal Kombat if Trump was a hidden character. And what are you spit, talking about? And then Yo. spit after. Jesus. So, for context, um, there had been this rumor for some time that uh, Drea was involved with Gilbert Arenas. And uh, there was like a, a one time Gilbert and Nick Young had actually went on Instagram Live. And they were having a conversation about something that happened in the back of a car. Now, mind you, um, Laura Govan says in this interview that Gilbert came out and told her, like, yeah, I was involved with a girl from Philly. There was things that happened and like a car. Like she kind of he kind of tells her about it, but doesn't say who it is mm-hmm. um, from what she tells us. And that's what she's saying has made her so upset because like she feels like, Drea, then you got on the show and became my friend knowing you was doing whatever with, you know what I mean? My situation. Let's take a listen to Nick Young and Gilbert Arenas. That day when I was riding home with Philly in the car, yeah. I don't know if I can tell that story. If you want me to tell that story. Nah, nah, she's a mother now. She's a mother now, yeah, we can't do that. That day changed my life. That's when Swaggy P was like, okay, man, I got This is what NBA is about. I mean, I'm riding in the car, he in the back seat. I turn my head, it's against, huh? Nah, nah. What was you doing in that back seat, Gil? Huh? What was you doing in that back seat? You went to the strip club. He said, huh? My grandma said, if you can hunt, huh, you can hear. Mm. Why well, they figure that was Drea, though? Well, I, okay, so, well, Laura, Laura said that she was told that it was Drea. And that's uh, what she, that's when she was up. When she was told she was, it was Drea, she got upset. She went to the, the studio and she alleges that she grabbed her by the vagina, drugged her, dragged her by the vagina in the why, collarbone. Why are all now, these grown people talking about this again now? Like, because the, what, Laura did the sit down with Carlos King and he brought up the time of like, just, just the rumors of them dealing with each oh, other in the you, fight. And okay. she rehashing and just confirmed certain things. Now, Drea. So the fight was on camera. So it was while they were taping Housewives. Now, listen, so Laura is saying that the fight was on camera but it never aired now listen to Drea Drea spoke out about this she said I didn't mess with anyone's husband let's be clear that no one was married let's also be clear that the interactions I had with him were years before I was on the show I didn't know her then I also did not know her when I agreed to be on the show or her sister I didn't even know either of them were going to be on the show so to say the word friend is a huge stretch she's saying that she came on as a friend of the sister didn't know either one of them for real but even if she even if they had told her like oh this is Laura she still wouldn't have known who she was um, She Drea g- continues to say to be honest, during my time on the show, it was the highest ratings that it had ever received. Many of y'all won't admit it, but I brought comedic relief and a, bre- and a breath of fresh air and most importantly, relatability to the normal girl who watched the show. They're talking about basketball wise for anyone who doesn't know. I'm almost to the end, but I will say my storyline carried the show. And she said, carried, carried, carried three times. 
Had there have been something involving me, trust and believe it would have been put on air for further enjoyment of the people that watch trash TV. Again, I don't get on this internet and bash anybody. I certainly don't blame any woman in any situation where I, I am owed some sort of respect from any man. But I don't get on this internet and tell my side of the story often because I respect the fact that it's not only my side. I give a lot of people grace by being quiet and not sharing. So basically what Dre is saying, I didn't even know homegirl at the time I was dealing with him. I didn't know who she was when I came onto the show, so I wouldn't have been able to even connect the two. We weren't real friends. I was paid to come on this show and act like a friend. And I mind my business, so why y'all coming from me? And you saying that all this was filmed? Drea says I was carrying the ratings why they didn't air it it would have made great TV why didn't they air it so you demand to see it you want to see it right now <laughs> Dre, oh my god Drea's better than me and I'm going to tell you why because if you was dragged by your vagina no, what happened no 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 her baby daddy her baby daddy her boyfriend just signed the deal for three years for 105 million dollars uh huh you think I would respond to y'all and I will say this, Drea. Yes, I do envy. I absolutely know you would. <laughs> You're right. You, I was. Yeah, yeah. Right. That, who, that's why we ain't watching. It would have been like dragged by. Right. It would have been on one-on-one right. on one camera right, right. here in the room, dragged by vagina. Exactly. Right. What do you mean? Right. But I will say this, Drea has done a really good job of being quiet, even when they be getting on her. One hundred and five million dollars. You talking about her? Her? Her, new, her money. Her new baby's father. We don't they, even they know. They go together. We don't even know that confirmed. She hasn't even confirmed that. We still. We be seeing stuff. We be seeing like whatever, but. They don't say anything. She's done a really good job of learning what will Beyonce do since her wholeness has been deleted. And y'all remember Drea said, and when she said that, she changed everything. She stepped away. She's been doing a good job. But I think she addressed this because it's the whole, I was married and you pretended to be my friend. That's not a good look. Well, dropping the clues bombs for Gilbert Arenas. Okay? <laughs> he was out here tricking. You hear me? It ain't tricking if, if, if she's worth it. Is you tricking or you and treating? It, and it ain't tricking if you got it. 25 it, grand ain't nothing that's up with Gilbert Arenas was, I, was made a lot of money. Shout yes, out to Dre. 25K on an easy little cash up here, babe. Take this. I, I, I told you that one time I was in a club with Gal, uh, Gilbert Arena and he bought so many bottles. I, he must have bought about 500 bottles. What you do, girl? I ain't talking about the bottles. I know no, what you're saying. He was like, oh my God, the ballers. <laughs> are the ballers is baller alert. Yeah. Baller alert. There were so many bottles. You know what? He did give me a couple bottles yeah. when I was DJing. Forget y'all. Yeah. The ball is in the building. <laughs> Can you, ask, can you ask Gilbert, can we get a hookah? You know what? That was just before hookah You was buying big. hookah too, Gil? You know I know what? I call him right. Gil. Gil, you buying hookah you know too? Forget y'all. Forget y'all. That what was kind of champagne, champagne was it? Rosa. You remember, don't you? Hmm? What kind he of champagne was it? got you the moet and drank the Ace of Spades. It was rosé, wasn't it? It was before Ball Ace of Spades. Alert. It was Cristal. Ball, oh, Cristal was back in them days. She's back in them days. Drop on the clues bomb for Gilbert Arena. He tricked on Envy and Dre. He love a light skin. He love a good light skin. Dre was worth it. I don't know about Envy, though. Red bomb. You no, know, I forget y'all. Salute to Gilbert Arenas. All right, let's. You know what? I hate y'all. I hate this place. Why? You brought it up. We would have known none of this. You always volunteer information and then get mad when people use it against you. That's we didn't right. ask none of this. Okay. <laughs> next is up next. Happy Halloween. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.